It's another cold day in the Tack Pack warehouse, but things are heating up with the March Box. It didn't sound scripted. It wasn't. And it was just pure poetry coming out of this man's mouth. All right, let's jump into the March Tack Pack Plus, featuring for the first time ever a couple brands, actually, if you think yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, I, and we, we've worked with Birchwood Casey in the past, but it's been a yep. long time. It's been a while. Um, Creature Grips, first time ever. Love their product. Really, really smart product. Troy, which will come here in a, a little bit later. And then also bringing to market the cool St. Paddy's Day treat, aside from the sticker, from Mission First Tactical. You know, we're using a lot of the products today, all right? And so, oh, and Nine Line. No. Oh, Nine Line. I got one of the items on my head. That's weird. <laughs> First and foremost, this pack is all about the thaw is here, not in Ohio, but the thaw <laughs> is here most likely wherever people live by the time this video airs. And this is a pack where you can get everything ready to go out to those range days and a couple little accoutrements to uh, polish up your build. So I'm gonna start by demonstrating because I've always wanted to do the thing. Mm -hmm. the, the Birchwood KC nitrile gloves. Now, let me tell you, when I was a young lad, I used to work on, I still work with my hands every day, all day, every day, but I used to work with my hands without gloves. And you know what, it was fine. It's actually probably easier to work on things too. But having to go out and buy the lava soap, remember lava soap where oh, you gotta yeah. like scrub your hands? This prevents that. And we got a nice little treat in the box for everybody, starting off with a, a, a small but mighty item. Hold on, I'm gonna do the thing where, I mean, that's, that's fine. Put your mouth on there? That's fine, I put my mouth on it. Yep, that's fine. Oh God. So you take these gloves when you're gonna work on, you're gonna help me, let me fluff this up a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's fine. Just go with it. And then this is the thing I've always wanted to do. I have really big hands. And these fit just fine. Ready? Nice. Fits good. Fits good. Fits so really it's good. definitely one size fits all because I have these Jack Skellington fingers. I have huge hands. I have sausage fingers. <laughs> but perfect for, especially when you're, you know, you're getting to that point in the year where Maybe you didn't clean things mm -hmm. last time you used them. No, I must did. And then when, when we get to the range, we're like, Our My bed's not running. Right, right, right. 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 So, it's all been there. strap these on. Ooh, maybe we should make like a snap counter. Mm -hmm. Strap these on and go to work on your guns. All right, enough of that. Oh. Mm. Birchwood Casey. Yep. Parent company, GSM, great to work with. Birchwood Casey, no exception for the crowd. Yeah. What do you want to talk about, JR? Um, I think we should go to the creature groups. <gasps> you get to talk about the creature groups? Well, I, you're going to talk about them. No, I'm going to talk about them because they're on my build. Ooh, um, it's like a sneak preview. Yes, yes. Here's JR build. Links below to the other JR build videos. We're at like four now. Yeah. Next video, we are going to actually test it. Test it, and I'm pumped for that. But when it breaks, we'll fix it. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be in the hospital. But for now, it looks really cool, especially with the creature grips. How many comes in the pack? So we actually sent out a custom six pack. Yes, that's right. They come in packs of five normally. We said, hey, we want to get six so that people can do both sides of their rail, three and three, mm -hmm. to kind of acclimate themselves to them. And if you want to go to their website and buy more, timely enough, Creature like Grips has offered uh, a discount to go and get more to finish out the rest of your rail or add them to uh, other guns that you have. So the advantage of the Creature Grip and, and their kind of claim to uh, ingenuity is that the M-Lock grip piece is hollow in the center, therefore allowing for uh, better ventilation of like your barrel, gas block, stuff like that. And I think it actually increases the overall texture because the void will allow for your skin and whatnot to grip into. Yeah. So, and the other part is they're just, it's like, uh, what's the little bears in the porridge and all that, what's that thing? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the, is that, no, that's not Winnie the Pooh, it's the Goldilocks. Three, three, little, three little Goldilocks or whatever? Okay. So three little pigs. Some grips are too soft. Some grip panels are too hard. These grip panels are just right. They're just flexible enough 
to give you good feedback and grip purchase when uh, holding the front of your rifle. So really awesome product. They're on yeah. all my builds. And it's a sick kind of tan coyote peanut buttery color, which mm -hmm. looks great on contrast to JR's build. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, right hello. There. hello. There we go. Yeah, and I, I tried out a couple different, like, panel scale yeah. options. And, geez, I tried, like, four or five. And then the creature grip sample showed up, and we're like, pop this on the rail. And it's like, no, that's that's the ticket. And the other thing is they fit really incredibly in the M-Lock slides. Mm -hmm. No no shade to anybody else, but we've tried a bunch of different M-Lock grip panels. And sometimes they don't quite fit in there, and they don't feel yeah. like they're really locked in there. These have an excellent um, attachment method or whatever. The, the, the engineering behind it, they just pop right in there. They're not going to fall out. They're not going to slide on you. Uh, really, really great product. Yep. You know, big things come in small packages, mm -hmm. is the old cliche. Mm -hmm. And Creature Grips is really onto something. And they're, uh, to, to us, I don't know how long they've been around, but to us, they're a newer brand that when we yeah. saw them, we got really hyped about it. Yeah. And I think when you look up in a couple of years, they'll be a household yeah. name, maybe even on OEM. That's not a foreshadowing or anything, but maybe they'll even be used on like OEM yeah. rifles coming out of factory. We're rooting for that because we really like them. It's USA made, great people to work with. Yeah. So, yeah. Before we go on, we do have to talk about two badass things. This video is probably going to air in late March. You'll still have time to get in for the April TAC pack. It is a record value tack pack at $388. And it's actually like $392, but still. So before we've sent tack packs that were upwards of $300, $320, this next tack pack is just shy of $400. And it is gonna be absolutely one of the best packs we've ever sent. We're really excited about it for, especially the plus item that we've teamed up with. Can't say, can't give it away, can't give it away, but we've teamed up to put an amazing item in the plus box for the tack pack. And there's still, well, I don't know, by the time this video airs, it might be sold out. But if it's not sold out, the Glock box this year, the sixth edition of the Glock box, which is JR's thing. JR does and plans all the one-off boxes that you see. It's his passion. He does a great job with it. Glock box 6.0, there's standard and plus. The plus box is a record by a landslide. I don't know if you want to speak to that. Yeah, yes, yeah. $650 value. I mean, the previous five Glock boxes, I think, peaked out at like $290 mm -hmm. value, and we were hyped about that at the time. Yeah. But we got to work with some really cool companies to bring some first to market Glock parts, and the value is just insane. Like I said, the plus version of the Glock box has $650 yeah. worth of gear inside. So we didn't, we didn't really plan it, but no. it just happened that both the April TAC pack, the monthly box, and then the special Glock box yeah. are two record-breaking value products that TAC Pack is offering to all of you. And we, we couldn't be more excited about it. And as always, thanks to the community, the, the larger the TAC Pack community, the more buying power, I'll say, yeah. we have with folks and the more people want to work with us because it's a big sale for them. Yeah. And it helps bring you know products to the community at the ability to put more value in the box. Next up... Going with the gunsmithing, I know we jumped from the gloves to the creature grips, but I gotta throw it up real quick to the True Glow wrench, okay? I've been working on AR-15s for probably 12 years now, and I've seen, I've probably used 10, eh, maybe a dozen different wrenches in that period of time, and some of them don't work, and some of them work really well, and you usually have to get a really nice one in order for it to work well, and that's what we've provided. And so what I mean by that is sometimes you get a wrench where, you know, to tighten down most barrel nuts, the teeth in there aren't perfectly spaced and it's really tough and you got to jam it in there, so on and so forth. We've had a lot of wrenches that we've tested that have failed due to um, their cast. A lot of these wrenches are cast, but that have given up on us and we've literally broken off like ends of the wrench, ends of the crow foot side of the wrench. So... True Glow hooked us up, it's a great wrench, everybody needs one, and here's the thing, at my house, I've probably got a wrench by my reloading setup, on my workbench, in my toolbox, in my go bag, in the trunk of my car at some point, mm -hmm. probably too, so you can never have too many good gunsmithing tools, there are a lot of gunsmithing tools out there that suck. This was our choice for 2024, we believe that where 
quality meets value. This is at the pinnacle of that. And we're really excited to team up to bring this to the TAC back because everybody could use a good armor's wrench. And uh, we tried to bend this thing and break it in the vise and nothing snapped when we were trying to do that. So that's a testament to how hard we are on things and how well this stood up. And that's the wrench. Took the words right out of my mouth, man. You nailed it. No more wrenching around. No, no. True, Lee. True, oh, yes, there's True a certain glow. glow yeah. about the satisfaction of using good yeah, tools. Yeah, you'll, you'll be glowing, your gun will be glowing. Um, you'll be glowing places. So, moving on. A nice piece of apparel as we transition weather. Mm -hmm. We work with the best companies out there and Nine Line is no exception. Nine Line, one of the like OG brands yeah. with Tack Pack. What I think, way back in the day, 2017, we sent a tumbler from them. Yeah, and we just had a really great relationship with them ever since. They've blown up. They're yeah. they're huge. I mean, they were they were big at the time, but they yeah. were just getting started. We love Nine Line. You all love Nine Line. Nine Line hat. Nine Line hat. Not his usual boonie hat or. Yeah one of the many tack pack hats that he's soiled over the years. Yeah, might become a regular though, because I have a big head, because I have a big brain, with big thoughts and ideas and big feelings. Skull. <laughs> big skull. Big, yeah, big, uh, big Cro-Magnum skull. But it fits well, it's not, it's not too warm, it's not too cold, it's just, I feel like I, I'm gonna probably wear it when I test out my new rifle. Because we only shoot outside. Yeah, and it's still probably, it'll be like, We'll probably test this thing in 50 degree weather. 50 degree weather. It's a good 50, 50 degree hat. Yeah. It's good hey, 50 degree hat. And you know, it's all about the humidity. 55 with like high humidity will feel pretty good. Yeah. I mean, back you know, to you, weatherman. <laughs> we always <laughs> get on these weather tangents. <laughs> Use the, the wrench as the microphone. Yeah. So tell us a little bit. Do the, the weather counter. Speaking of some OG close friends of TAC Pack, we got the nine line hat. Now moving on, Mission First Tactical made a custom green St. Paddy's Day mag only found in the tack bag. Only found in the tack bag. So I want to go deeper into that for a minute. Sure. The folks at Mission First Tactical are all time. They are first class. We know these people by name. We've sat down. We've hung out with them. Yeah. Just the group of individuals who really are the lifeblood of that company are incredible. So I want to shout them out. Real quick, Clint, Ryan, David. David. Uh, those are the three guys that we work with all the time. And they were like, hey, and this is last year. They're like, hey, next year, do you want to do a, a couple of mags? And we're like, yeah, you know, no doubt we're going to do it. And they're like, well, we started working on translucent mags, this, that, and the other thing. We're like, okay, cool. We want to do two mags a year. So we're going to space one in March and then one probably about six months from now. And we said, what if we did like a, you know, green still an earth tone, but make it a little brighter, make it translucent, make it pop. And uh, this is, a, <laughs> this is, make it pop. That's like the always sunny rickety cricket when he's beating on the drums. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Gotta get higher and higher. Um, so we decided to team up and make a translucent green mag. This is the only place you're gonna see it. We did one custom color. We bought all of them. We have them all, we sent them all, we have some extras, which so we just- Literally, because we, we asked them, we're like, hey, we might need some more. They're like, dude, this was a limited yeah. run for you guys, yeah, that's almost, it. We almost had to sell out. Yeah, we that's like, it, so. <laughs> like 30 mags from having to sell out. Yeah. And uh, so we got about 30 extra. So here. only so TAC Pack subscribers will ever have this MFT. And it's on JR's build it's and it looks build. sick. Yeah. They're also coming out with a mag coupler that he's gonna couple his translucent, um, ectoplasmic St. Paddy's Day green mag with his dinosaur mag that Mission First Tactical, hear this. So for his build, Mission First Tactical made him a custom mag with the dinosaur print on it of his own artwork. So again, more love to Mission First Tactical. Yeah. And with that, they included this MFT sticker. Now, is this like an STP sticker? Yeah, it's a reference. Is it yeah. STP, like it's an old? Yeah, yeah. Like okay. Old gas station. Yeah, I just want to make sure I got it right. You yeah. know what I mean? Old gas station. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So all the cool. cool things. Now that's not the only sticker in the pack. I don't know if the artist himself wants to talk about his own sticker. Yeah, I mean, it's another month, another tag pack sticker. You might recognize this leprechaun from something you might watch on Saturdays in the fall. We'll <laughs> leave it at that. You know, 
Speaking of the leprechaun, the green, like, every year we do, like, a St. Paddy's theme box, but we never, we never bring it up. I know. It just, like, happens. Like, the green mat, yeah, and no one said anything, and I'm like, well, obviously, I gotta do, like, a leprechaun sticker, and... Gotta do it. There's just something, we always do it every March. Are you Irish? You know, you're, like... No, I'm, are you? I'm like, I'm all types of things. Yeah, I'm Irish. Now uh, for the moment... <laughs> Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have a plus item. So Troy Industries is one of those legacy brands. For anybody that's been into the AR world, the M4 world, the M16 world for over 10 years, let's call it, knows that Troy was around back when they were one of the only handful of companies really making aftermarket parts. Everyone remembers the rail with the holes and you get the little grip panels that went in there. It was awesome. Well, we've been working on teaming up with Troy for a while, and we've gotten to a size where we got their attention, thankfully, and we are so excited to team up to bring the Plus Box item, another example of how big things come in small packages. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a fan of fixed, fixed sites versus flip-up sites. Those are, that's how I roll, and I would bet Dollars a cents that these are going to make their way onto JR's build in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to bring these up to the camera oh, yeah, to show you real definitely. quick. High quality billet aluminum. Yes, we've been handling them a lot. So here's the rear sight. Just the level of crispness and the quality and the weight. Not too heavy, not too light. These are just incredible. And we really hope that you enjoy them and you put them on your build. Um, working with Troy has been a real honor and we'll look to doing more with them in the future. <laughs> like all things, talk, talk soon. soon. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> I need a nap. Hey, hey, get the, we just need a flathead screwdriver to install these, which is incredible. You know, we should have highlighted that. Yeah, we, we still These can. go on with a flathead and you slide them on to your pick rail and you shove this thing in there, screw it down. It's got a little tension to it, which is perfect.